Doug Lemov of the Uncommon Schools has an incredible book out called Teach Like a Champion that captures his study of urban educators' techniques. This video series quickly samples how Exit Ticket's student response system can effectively complement these techniques. Both Exit Ticket and Teach Like a Champion offer a lot more depth than shown here, but I hope this will help you as you continue to explore. Lamov's first technique in his taxonomy of instructional strategies is called No Opt Out. It's the idea that students aren't allowed to pass or get away with an I don't know. Everyone has to try. Start by understanding that students avoid questions or claim I don't know often as a self-defense mechanism because they're unsure, lack confidence, or need more time for an answer. Don't hand off the question to another student to answer. Instead, ask around the class to discuss the principles at work here. Have the class pick apart the question. After the discussion has helped the first student understand and has given the student more time to think it over, see if they can offer something more than I don't know. Here's an example. I've just asked my students to take a one question assessment on exit ticket. I can see their results coming in on my heat map. If I click on a student's name from a live heat map, the question and their answer comes up. This assessment is aligned to the first of the eighth grade common core reading standards about finding evidence of intent from text. While I was looking at the teacher view, the class was watching their own devices as well as the projector view, which was showing anonymous data. When I'm ready, I can switch the projector view to the reteach tab, which will help me go over this question. Let's say I call on Beth Blackburn and I ask her why the last option tricked so many students and she shrugs and says, I don't know. Instead of posing the same question to another student, I ask for a volunteer to explain what the question is asking. And they say that we're looking for someone that doesn't want to fight and wants to make peace. What kind of words mean peace, I ask, and another student offers many of the words that are in the last option of the question. So now I return to Beth and I say, hey Beth, how about it? That last answer has the word calm in it. How come that's not the right one? She has had some scaffolding and some time to think it over and she nails it and describes why that last option is a trick answer having attractive words but the opposing meaning that's opt out thanks for watching and as always we welcome feedback